Hey there humans, Tim here with The Way of the Rope and today I'm currently in Frankfurt with my good friend Jason Paul. Guten Tag. Hey. And I thought it'd be a good opportunity to teach Jason rope flow. He's never done rope flow before. Maybe you've seen a couple bits online, but... I've seen it online. I've never even touched never your done. rope. Jason's, we consider him an expert mover. He's a professional parkour athlete, so he might it'd be interested to see how he takes to it. But I thought it'd be a good opportunity if I share it with Jason. We can do a follow along as I teach him. You might be able to watch this and learn at home too. So. Jason, here's your golden teacher. Wonderful. I'll break it down slowly and we'll ease up mm -hmm. from the beginning. I'm going to take you through the three basics today. Mm -hmm. Overhand, underhand, drag and roll. These are the three foundational mm -hmm. patterns and from there everything else stems from those mm -hmm. patterns. So if you take the rope in your right hand, grab the handles and we're just going to swing it in this overhand motion so the rope is parallel to the feet. Feet are hip width apart, kind of parallel with the feet. Mm -hmm. And let the rope just tick the floor so you can hear the audio cue of the hidden the floor. Okay. Now allow your body just to kind of bob up and down with the rope a little bit. So this is where it differs from skipping. Mm -hmm. With skipping, the legs come up as mm -hmm. the hand comes down. With this, we go with, with the, rope. the down okay. and up is with the rope, yeah. That's it. And what you're gonna do when you feel comfortable is as the rope comes down, you're gonna allow it just to cross over the body into the other hand, like so. Okay, it comes down. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And let's go back. Same thing again, back. How much is my wrist supposed to do? So we want to kind of even the motion throughout the whole body. So the legs are doing a bit, the wrist is doing a bit, the shoulders doing a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's not all on one part of the body. It's okay, kind of yeah. Spread out evenly, so it's I more see. kind of relaxed. Let's just do that a couple more times, back and forth. Pass it across and back. Cool. I think you got that pretty good. Most people are able to get this pretty basic part. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to reach over and grab both hands. Okay. Keep the rope in motion. And you're going to so try and grab the handles in separate hands. So your hands can be touching, but we're not just grabbing a balled up knot like that, right? So yeah. And kind of this okay grip just behind the handles. Okay, wait, I need to look at it. Yeah, okay. So, so right hand is like this. Yeah. Okay grip. Okay, so it's like the okay sign. Yeah, and the, the knot just bumps up against that. Okay. okay. Exactly. Okay, okay. And then just letting the knuckles kind of like that. Okay, wait, let me start again. How bad is it if my rope gets tangled? Does it matter? No, it's okay. Just kind of roll with it? Okay. For now, yeah. So I'm here in this initial one. Overhand, yeah. Now I reach over in the okay grip and yep. grab the one that's further away from me. That's it. I see. And then we're going to, when you're ready, cut across the body. And let it swing on that side for maybe three reps. And then mm -hmm. we go back. That's it. Two, three, and go. One, two, three, and go. One, two, three. Now we're going to go two reps. One, two. One, two, one, two, one. Now one rep. Left, right, left, right. That's it. And try to let the move, movement come from the spine quite a little bit. That's it. So allow the shoulders to roll. Mm -hmm. We don't want the shoulders to stay completely level. We want them to, that's it. Allow them to kind of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gentle with the pace, that's it. Slow and steady. We say slow is smooth and smooth quickly becomes fast. Okay. That's it. Nice. And now from here, we want to go a little bit more intricate. We're going to stack the hands as we're going. So kind of you're holding a sword. So one hand's okay. on top of the other, like that, exactly. So your left hand's leading now. Mm -hmm. And I want you to imagine, you see how the thumb's leading it, that mm -hmm. top thumb? Yeah. Imagine that thumb is going to trace the pattern of infinity. So as I see in front of me. In front of you. So yeah, yeah. So you're really going to cut back. When you go to the left, cut back and down with the thumb. You can even free the thumb up a little bit, maybe. So you can really I... see it. And That's it. Tracing that pattern of infinity. And for extra challenge. What is the infinity? Is it like it's like here? This. Is it like wrapping around me? So it's like here, here. Okay. So it's yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay. So the thumb betray this is the hardest bit that people miss is coming the supination with the hand there. Okay. So pronate okay, but we don't open up. up we don't come it. here. No. Yeah. Okay. And then when you start, you always start with the same, or can I start now in the sword? You can start now in the sword, that's fine. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, so that's here it. and then here. Yeah, nice. And you see how you can kind of feel the weight, the right hand's almost being pulled by the left yeah. a little bit? Yeah. yeah. So you got that pretty quick. We can swap hands while we're in motion, so make your right hand lead. So at some point, that's it. And then keep the right, keep the right oh, hand. Oh, now I got mixed up, okay. Oh, right. Now my... Now I wanted to keep switching. And the left hand is on top. Yeah. That's working. I'm switching the right hand. Yeah. And keep and the right, right top. hand stays on top. That's it. And now I do a couple wraps, laps of that doing the infinity pad, this horizontal okay. figure of eight. Yeah. 
Okay, I see. Yeah, because my initial, I want to go like back and forth, but mm. instead I can keep the hands. Kind of, yeah, so it's like relaxing the body a little bit and allowing. Yeah. The Give me my forearms. Nice. Cool. Okay. They can relax, stop the rope there. Mm -hmm. That's the overhand. Okay. So that's now the we're going to go in the opposite direction. So again, feet shoulder width apart mm -hmm. in the right hand. You start right hand, this grip. And we're going to swing. I'm Actually, going. before we do that, this is one This one instruction will help for people at home because often people get confused in this pattern a little bit. Drop the rope a second. We're just going to imagine we're doing like backstroke with the right hand. We're going to clap in front in the middle and then that comes backstroke. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Just do that a few times. Yeah. So it's almost this backstroke action, right? Because often mm -hmm. what people do is when they come here, they try to go forwards. Uh -huh, so you we want to keep the momentum going go backwards, backwards so it flows. So that's forwards. Backward. That's forwards. Yeah, so reverse it. Backwards, exactly. So if you're ever confused, just reverse from the forwards mm -hmm. to the backwards. Okay, so I think you're ready. Grab the rope. Okay, so I'm in my right hand, right hand. thumb on top, hand underneath. Yep. And I'm going backwards. So oh. heel to toe. It should go heel to toe past your feet. So if, it's, I see, if there's yes. dirt on the floor, it's kicking it's the dirt kicking in front, in front of, of you. Yeah. Okay. Literally, <laughs> that's it. Bobbing with it as we go, just to allow feeling the rope. And while we're here, we can just close the eyes a second and just feel the weight of the rope, feel the body, feel it working kind of together. And it's why the rope's got a nice bit of weight to it, so we can actually feel it. If you just have, you can do it with a skipping rope, but you just won't feel the same weight in the hand. Okay, you can open your eyes now. So now we're going to go back to that drill where we're going to pass it across the body. So as the rope comes up, you can turn the rope, turn your chest into the rope a little bit beforehand, so you're uh -huh. ready. And then as it comes up, you're gonna pass it and turn the chest across to the other side. Nice, nice yeah, exactly that. And let's go back to the first side. Nice, and back across to the left. Nice, we'll do three reps, two, three. Sorry, I missed it's it. All, it's all right, one, one two, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right, one, two, three. Let's go back to here. Let's reach across again and grab it with two hands now. So with your left hand, that's it. Separate the handles out if Separate you can. Separate them, yep. Yeah. Oh, it got twisted. Yeah, that happens sometimes. You try and get your knuckles sort of closer together rather than crossing the hands over. Yeah, I'm crossed now. Yeah, huh? so you see I'm like... So I want to be here. All right, just uncross it. Yeah. There we go. That's it. Keep, yeah, just lightly. That's it. And then when you're ready, you're going to two-hand it over to the left. Two-hand it over to the left. Yeah, give it a couple spins. Ready, go back. That's it. One, two. I think you're good for two. We can skip ahead. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. Now one. 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 There we go. And you can allow your weight to shift from foot to foot as we do this. So like you kind of almost lift that opposite leg off to show that you've yeah. centered the weight and you've stacked the bones okay. over that foot. Yeah. That's it. Nice. And that's the underhand eight. Now we can think about that figure of eight again, but this time you're gonna stack the hands. What finger is gonna lead you this time? Okay, this time I'm when I might Oh, it's so hard to think about it. <laughs> which hand goes on top? I feel like my just, left hand. Doesn't goes matter on which top. hand. It doesn't matter. But which finger of that hand is the question. Okay. Wow, this is hard now. Sorry, I didn't wanna Okay. So basically I was just gonna say it's the pinky that's gonna lead you now. The pinky leads me now. Okay, so the thumb understand. is not leading me, it's the pinky exactly, that's leading me. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Two hands. So again, I'm two hands stacked on top, and yep. I'm going backwards, dirt backwards. coming in the front. That's it. Now I start switching. Yep. Okay, lifting up for people up at home, legs. if you ever get confused, just check with this underhand, is it going heel toe past my feet? And, and always revert back so you can drop the rope and do the, the thing we did at the start with the hands, or pass it from one hand to the other, if you're ever getting stuck with it in two hands. But once you're comfortable with it in two hands, like Jason's getting now, that's it. The hands yeah. are a bit close together, one hand on top. And now the pinky leading. The pinky's leading natural. again, tracing that yeah. figure of eight, making sure that we cut up and cut down on, as we go through each side. Wow, this that. side is so much harder for me than the yeah, other side. Yeah, people generally find the underhand a little bit harder than the overhand. Nice. Okay. Good, you can stop the rope there. That's the mm -hmm. overhand and the underhand. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna learn the movement that connects the two the drag and roll, but before that, there's mm -hmm. one step we learn. So we're gonna hold the hand, we call this the propeller, and we're gonna swing it this time, past our toes in a clockwise direction. That's it. Two hands, I'll give you a bit more space for this one. Okay. Yep, nice, so we call this propeller. Now, if you turn your head to the right, mm -hmm. 
90 degrees, and then you turn your hips and feet to follow, but keep the rope where it is. That's it. And now, what, what pattern are you in? If oh, that's okay. That's the backwards, the forwards roll. It's the, the first overhand one. one. Yeah, yeah exactly. overhand. So now you can go either side of your body, back to that. Go left and right of your body. There we go. Yes. Okay. Lovely. And now I can go back to so propeller if I to, want to. Sorry, yeah. Back to propeller in the middle. Yep, turn the head to the middle. What are we going to do next then? What do you reckon? Oh, so now we're going to go the other way. Turn, turn the head to the left. left. That's it. Hips 90 degrees to the left. 90 degrees. And then either side of the body. Oh, now we're going backwards. Now okay. we're going backwards. Underhand. Exactly. Ah, I was thinking about my pinky finger and I mixed <laughs> it up. <laughs> and okay, see, now well, you're I'm in. Forwards exactly, good spot, yeah. You put yourself. Once I start the rope going, say the rope's going here, say that's north and that's south. Yeah. The rope's swinging north to south. Yep. Whichever way I turn, the rope's still going north to south. Right. And I'm learning to dance around that, right? Uh -huh. So I'm getting all the balance benefits and the coordination. Yeah. You can get more technical as you know as you develop the, the patterns. Mm -hmm. but the rope's never not going it, from start to finish in that same line. In that same line, okay. So that's to your perspective. Your perspective it's going the other way. Exactly. Uh -huh. So we call that the cardinal law. Okay. It's the cardinal law that respects in the north, south, east, west. Mm -hmm. You set it going, and then you learn to move around it. Mm -hmm. So in the beginning, you never want to break that rule until you understand that you're breaking the rule. As okay. You, you yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come back in. We'll learn the final pattern of the of the day then. So there's a move we do from propeller that connects the two rather than this is pretty easy and basic and doesn't look that cool. Mm -hmm. We open it up into this, which we call the dragon roll. Oh God, that sounds so cool and looks so cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, right, we'll start, <laughs> we'll break it down into four steps. Actually, uh -huh. let's drop the rope real quick. Okay. And we're just gonna move to rotate the ribs left, rotate right or left okay. and right. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's kind of like 45 that way. Yeah. I turn 90, so I'm 45 that way. Yeah. Yep. And let, allow the hand to go behind your body line, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then as you turn, you, they swap, so now that one's behind, yeah. Okay. Cool. So this is what we're gonna do. Kind of put some oomph into it, left mm -hmm. and right. That's it. Yep. Boom. Cool, okay. all right. Okay. Ready with the rope. So. That trick does look intimidating. Yeah. Okay. But you, we'll get there. We'll break it down into its steps and we'll get there. So have the rope in front of the right toe, so my ribs are pointing to the right. Yes, my right. feet are pointing forward. Feet are pointing forward. They can be a bit wider for this, I don't mind so much, so yep. we can ground it. Rotate the ribs and turn the arms, mm -hmm. and then we flick it straight back. So it's behind our left leg, keeping the arms kind of behind, the or, or like several, level with the body. Often people punch the arms here, yeah, which obviously yeah. limits our rope at the back. Right. So we want to keep the arms back. Okay. Turn the ribs this way, flick it forwards from there. That's it, yeah. So we're back where we started. So drag it left. Okay. Flick it back. Okay. Turn. Yep. Flick it forwards. Yep. Great. Okay, so do it a little bit faster. Drag left, flick up, turn, flick it forwards. Great. So we'll go one more time, but meet me at the back. So drag, flick, weight at the back, that's it. Turn, wait here. This time when we flick it forwards, yep. we're going to go straight into that drag past the toes. Okay. And then it's going to come up overhead. So flick it forwards, drag, there. Boom. Exactly, yeah. So now all we need to do is get that back bit. Get that back bit, yeah. yep. Cool, so we'll go again. What we're going to do is, as soon as the rope hits your leg, you're going to let the rope hit your leg, but as soon as it does, you're going to turn. Turn, okay. Yeah, so ready, flick it forwards, go, boom, let it hit the leg, turn. Yeah, and then flick okay. again. Cool, yeah. Let's go back to the back position, and we'll try that again. This time, mm -hmm. let's face this way. When it hits your leg, you're going to try and turn and flick it over. So we'll try and piece them together. Okay. But it's okay that it hits the leg. I don't understand. That's okay. So let's just do the let's just do one more rep of this. Yeah. Flick it forward, drag it. Drag it, come let back. Let it hit on. the leg, yeah. Boom. And then turn, go. turn. Yeah. Let's just do that a few times. Uh -huh. Boom. Hits the leg. Boom. Turn go. Turn. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Oh, remember the arm. Oh, there we go. Turn go. Yeah. And if you want in the beginning, you can lean back a bit. Lean back a bit. To give you the space give behind the space. you. And then okay. as the, the movement over repetitions, it becomes more fluid and you start to know the feeling of the where the rope is. Yeah. Okay. And you can be more relaxed with it. But in the beginning, yeah, let's open ourselves up uh -huh. and get through it. So uh, yeah, here, let's go. Boom, flicks, boom, flick. Yeah, nearly okay. there. Okay, now when it hits my leg, I want to flick it over just right So now, now you know sort of the timing of when it's going to hit your leg. Yeah. We want to time it so just before it hits your leg, Give that's it a when flick. you turn, okay. but you don't necessarily need to. Okay. So, good question though here, is you'll see, if I demonstrate you, I'll demonstrate it this way. I can do no flick. It's all horizontal movement. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, generating yeah, yeah. the vertical. So my ribs are just doing that. Uh -huh. And it generates this vertical 
uh -huh. momentum because of the timing of it all. Yes, okay. So it's like, it's hitting the low point and I'm just, it's like a golf swing, right? Mm -hmm. Or tennis, we use this. Yeah, this. so when it hits that low moment, I just want to turn just before it. Back left or back right? Back left, uh, back right. Okay. Well, it will, it will, whichever. I'm here, it comes over and I, I turn again this yeah, way. Yeah, but let it, let it go. So rather than do it from the arms, yeah. we want it to like, Huh. You see that? Yes. So. Okay. So I'm starting back let's here. Let's start back here because this is a good point. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we can go straight into that first swing. Boom. Tap. Boom. No, I do it from the arms. Yeah. Okay. I have to just do it from my torso. So let's just get this bit really neat. So when yeah. we do this to swing, try and keep the arms low. Sorry. No worries. Try and keep the arms low. Low. And here. Yeah. yeah. Turn. Turn. Take it forward. Yeah. Go for it from there if you want. Drag. Flip. Okay, well, when we go yeah, from let's here. Go to the back because we can get the momentum through. Uh, boom. No, I'm doing the arms again. Okay, yeah. sorry. It's all right. Yep. Oh, okay. So let what it, am I doing? When you twist here, yeah. just flick it like, like imagine it's coming straight, straight here. Straight over, yeah. Yeah, yeah and okay. let that kind of like. Uh, okay, and then it comes back here and so I create the space by turning. Yeah, if you watch my back. Yeah. And it's the left hand that kind of punches through that flicks it away from the back. Okay. Yeah. That must have been hard to figure out by yourself. <laughs> well, David figured it out. <laughs> okay. Go for it. So you go, hep, hep. Nearly, yeah, so a bit later. Okay. Let bit the later. rope go. A bit later, ah, because now, okay. Because, I, yeah, I think you're. Hep. <laughs> so let the wow. rope come. Yeah. Like, let, let your ribs turn a bit more this way. You're kind of keeping your ribs neutral. Yeah. So you want them to be facing that way. Mm -hmm. To facing that way. Okay, yes. I'm trying to work it with my arms. Yeah. Connect like, the arms and the legs. Kind of almost like connect the arms and the legs a bit. Yeah. And okay. the arms and the core. So I'm going hep, hep. Yeah, a little bit later. A okay. little bit later. Okay. Hep. One more time. Yep. Start in the back. Hep, hep. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you feel that. That's boom. how I felt, I felt it connect. Yes, exactly. Okay. So I'd say look at a point on the horizon a bit now. Okay. Because sometimes it helps people to organize around the eyesight. Right, okay. Yeah, so we're there. We flick forward. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Trust the, trust the rope. Like trust let the it, rope. So the momentum I gain from flicking this yeah. means that I don't have to use the arms. Yes. So you see the momentum's coming from the turn. So mm -hmm. the rope comes over my, I don't have to use my arms to go over the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like from To there. scoop it under more. Yeah. Okay. And it's just that aggressive turn back. <laughs> okay. Mm, give me another go. So I feel like once it clicks, it will, it it will be it. there. Yeah. There you go. That felt like it. Okay, go, yeah. okay. Yeah, it fit, and you can see when someone does it, it looks really relaxed. It's just getting the timing uh -huh. down, right? So once, sometimes the rope needs to hit our legs a few times before we start to realize that's the cue. Mm -hmm. I want to skip that by turning. Yeah, I still feel like I did it, but I have no idea what I How? did. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like okay. it'll just come. Okay, give me one or two more tries. Yep, turn Please. to the right then, face into the right, flick it over. There you go, yep. Okay, now we're getting there. Get it, yeah. Okay. Your left hand's a bit high. Bit high, so okay. Try and relax, keep it here. Mm -hmm. But that is, I always say in spirit, that's the pattern. Yeah. Your body's doing the right thing at the timing. Mm -hmm. Now it's just fine tuning those bolts, get right. the shoulder down and stuff. Yeah. Get rid of the sticky points. Yeah. Okay, now what do I do? So let's just do that again. So let's face into the right, flick mm -hmm. it forwards, go, boom, turn. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. getting better. You've got three there, yeah. yeah. So. I think next year you're going to get three. We want to get three, and then we're yeah. going to drop into the propeller. Okay. Over and underhand, and then we've connected. Okay, so it's coming here, and that's when I go propeller. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But we'll get, let's get three let's dragon rolls, and then three we'll dragon rolls. Okay. Okay. Where do I start? Is this right? Yeah, that's it. Face, face the right. Take it forwards. Drag. Open up. Boom. Yeah. Let the arms come behind you a bit yeah. more. Okay. Like, let's try and open that chest. Try yeah. Open that chest. Okay. Yeah. Open the chest. There we go. Much better. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, you see that? Now I got it. Yeah. 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 Into propeller. And then think about going back into dragon roll actually from it. So you're gonna open to your left. Okay, so I'm gonna open to my left. 
Yeah, exactly. Right, okay. And then when we do that, this is what the basically I teach this over an hour, two hours, and then yeah. Jason's getting a very condensed fat <laughs> version. Uh, but then we can, when we connect, connect the dragon roll and the propeller in yeah. and out, then we can connect all three directions mm -hmm. together, and then we can start to flow with the rope within 20 minutes. Oh, right. nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's dr try and dragon roll. Dragon again. roll. I'm now. I can. I can. I just don't want to start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> whatever works for you. Okay. So I'm facing this way. Hep. 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 That's it. Hep. Yep. And now I go propeller. And then now I want right to go back into it. Ooh. From here back into dragon roll. So I have to Turn go to left. over. Yeah. Exactly. Over. Hep. Yeah. So it's the transitions, as you know, with parkour, right? Once you yeah. get good at transitions, it makes everything. Then everything connects. Let's move it, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. from there, let's turn to your right. Hips and head, 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Into overhand either side of the body, left and right. Go one each side. So go back and forth. That's it. That's it. Nice. And then go back into the middle to the left. To the left. That's it. And then maybe we try dragon roll here. Mm -hmm. Open up. That's it. Okay, now a few. Get three of them in. Keeping your left hand Oh, out. I've lost You're it. You're losing it. <laughs> okay, now let's go straight from propeller. Yep. Oh, hep. What did I just do? Was that? <laughs> it's a new move. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Inventing stuff in rope flow already. Hep, hep, hep. So do like three in a row dragon rolls. Because the more you just grease that groove, it, the body will like yeah. get smoother and smoother. Yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. Oh, and I lost it. Dragon roll, dragon roll. That's it. Yeah, I'm still, if I don't think about it, my arms start to take over. Yeah, here. Yeah. Do their thing, but okay. The spine's doing the right movement now and the timing's there. Okay. Yeah. Cool, so let's go dragon roll, mm -hmm. propeller overhand mm -hmm. to underhand. Let's go full 360 actually. So okay. We'll go that way. Yeah. Into underhand, back into dragon roll. Okay. And then that's complete. You've learned the basics. The basics. Okay, you still need to guide me on the way. I'll, I'll talk you through, yeah. Yeah. So let's try and get three dragon rolls first mm -hmm. into propeller. One, two, that's it, three, into propeller, right, nice. Turn to the right, 90 degrees, either side of the body, left and right, overhand, one more each side, and then put it on your right hip. Okay, put it on my right hip. Turn 90 degrees that way, this is propeller. There is a drag and roll here, I'll demonstrate it. The other way, But hey? it's the other way, exactly. Right. So we'll save that for another time. Yep. Continue to turn to your right. Ooh, we're good. Either side of the body. Oh, I lost it. Wait, I'm going. Going into overhand. I'm going overhand. Good. Caught yourself. So I go here. Yes. Okay. And then right yeah. hip here. Boom. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to turn to the left and open up like that. Yes. Sit one more and then into propeller. Boom. Nice. So we're going to start with dragon roll. Go around the full 360, end in the dragon roll, and then, yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Cool. Right. Let's do Take it. it to the right, forwards into dragon roll, that's it. Two, one more, into propeller. Turn to the right, hips and head, either side of the body, left and right, that's it. Put on your right hip, turn to the right. Now there is a dragon roll can do here, we've not mm -hmm. learned, that's the opposite direction to what we just learned, mm -hmm. so we'll do that off camera. Turn to the right again, in this overhand either side of the body, that's it, back and forth, figure of eight on your right hip, hips there, and now slow the rope down so we're with it, that's it. And when you're ready, you're gonna open up to your right, back into that dragon roll. Back into the dragon roll. Yeah, there we go, one more, into propeller, and nice. finish there. Yeah, nice. Well done, Jason. Thank you, that was so fun. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for being vulnerable, man. It takes a, <laughs> you're just learning it on camera for the first time, but appreciate that. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're able to learn something uh, helpful from that. If you want to learn rope flow uh, from me more directly, you can check out wearetherope.com. Uh, eight weeks to fluidity is the main course where we take you from complete beginner up to fluid freestyler within eight weeks. Where can they find you, Jason? Anything? You can find me on YouTube, the Jason Paul. The Jason Paul. Cool. And levelsmethod.com for course parkour learning stuff. But check out the YouTube first. If you like the parkour stuff I'm sharing, definitely check out his channel. He's sharing a lot of great parkour knowledge for beginners on there as well. Um, I'll probably do a video together on his channel, which you could check out as well. We'll link stuff down below. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jason. Thanks for watching. Godspeed.